Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars. I'm holding a very cool Gibson ES335. So this guitar has kind of been circling around our hemisphere for a few years between some really good friends of the shop, some awesome players, most recently Aaron Hebert. It's kind of a joke behind the scenes, like a 52, 57 Convergent Gold Top. It generally goes to someone who's making their way up to a burst worth. Well, this is the guitar that we've seen a lot of people own that have eventually got themselves into something that's a little bit more of a collector's piece, like that 59, 60, 335. This has all the specs that we all want. The right nut width, 111 16th, it's got a really nice neck profile. So about this time, shortly after everything starts changing, you start going to the one and five eighths nut width and just a lot of different neck profiles that as players and collectors, we've decided aren't our favorite. Again, to each their own. I look at every guitar individually and some things compensate for, you know, a little slimmer neck, a little fatter profile, whatever. If you don't want to go and get your hands on every guitar don't have access to, you really look at a few points on these. This is the nut width that is on every new Gibson. It's, it's really, really comfortable. It's that 111 16th. And the neck profile on this is really just kind of a medium. It's a little, a little thinner, not like your big 59, but it's not, you know, super, super, super slim. But something that for a guy like Aaron, who's doing a lot of different styles and who wants to shred, but also do these difficult articulate chords, it kind of covers all that. It has patent number pickups in it, the original patent number pickups, which are as close to, you know, as close to PAFs as you can possibly get, if not the same thing. In this case, they, I mean, sounds like a PAF to me. The biggest thing on this guitar is it had a big Z at one point that was removed. You can see the little snake bites there and right here. So the tail piece has been replaced, something that's a little bit more structurally sound, more contact, honestly what I would want in a standard 335. It's had a refret so it plays perfectly, doesn't need any attention. The guitar is ready to go. I was kind of sad to see Aaron get rid of this one just because, I mean, unless you're gonna spend three times as much, it's really hard to find a guitar like this, but the guy shuffles the deck all the time. He's got plenty of guitars to choose from, really great guitars. So whoever gets this, you are a very lucky person. I love this instrument. It's what I would be looking for if it was lefty. Truly, this is exactly what I want, a 335. So yeah, we're gonna hand it over to the man himself, Aaron Hebert, who once owned this guitar. He's gonna play it for you and see how it sounds.
Thank <laughs> you.